A fresh perspective beyond the bridge. Fraser Focus. We're taking a moment here for each of the mayoral candidates to ask one of the other mayoral candidates one question. Your question, Linda, and to whom? Uh, I would ask a question of Councillor Rossotti as the chair of public safety for three and a half years. Why none of those issues relative to policing and relative to finances was ever raised either in a public session or in a private session on, uh, on the issue of public safety. Councillor Rossotti, you have one minute to answer. Thank you, and I welcome that question. I've learned a lot um, on my six years on council being a part of a team. I uh, unfortunately had to leave that team because I was no longer able to bring up issues around public safety. And as I've said, I think the reason I believe that we have to do things in a new way is because I've seen the failure firsthand. Uh, I've tried to work in a team environment where voices were muzzled and a team ostracized me after I spoke out. After the violent death of a hockey mom, when we knew two weeks prior to that, we cancelled the teen skate program at Newton Athletic Park because the re arena wasn't safe. When I raised concerns publicly saying that the, our Newton Town Centre strategy was not working, I was shut out. When I asked for transparency on the police committee, it is documented I was removed because they were unwilling to do so. Thank you so much for that I response. I think we'll move it over to Doug now. He's had a moment to think about a question. Yeah. Who would you like to address? I'll ask um, my question to Linda and, and it's a simple question. What made you and, and the rest of council, I think it was unanimous, um, decide to move the city hall from its current good location to city cen center and spend at least $150 million um, of taxpayers' uh, dollars um, to make that move? Thank you, Doug. Linda? Thank you, and I welcome that question. It's $97 million for the City Hall, and then there's a parkade and a, and a public square, much like the Robson Square. Because as a visionary, as a leader, we had to look at what the potential of the city was and how could we advance that. And one of the ways we did that was to move out, to put our money where our mouth was. So we actually created an environment for investment and every single dollar that went into City Hall has been returned by $30 of investment. We have 49 projects in the area where we said the future was going to live and the public has embraced that and the investors embraced that. So we looked at it as visionary and as necessary to create the kind of city we wanted to live in in the future. Thank you so much, Linda. Burinda, it's over to you. Who would you like to address your question to and what is that question? Uh, I'd like to address my question to mayoral candidate Linda Hepner. Uh, I want to know why the residents should believe that status quo and the same way of doing things is going to serve any purpose except to keep crime rates high and uh, spending at City Hall high. Thank you. Uh, first of all, spending at City Hall is not high and I think that if anyone had even looked at the paper as early as today, you can see that the per capita spending in Surrey is $951 compared to Vancouver at something like $1,700. So I dispute that uh, per capita spending piece at, uh, at, at right off the bat. But secondly, the, uh, the crime reduction strategy which was under the direction of Councillor Rossotti, has been a, actually a very good document and we're actually making progress. The fact is, since 2008, crime in this city has gone down. It is straight up a fact. Thank you very much. I, I, I feel like Doug is left out. Well, I mean, you were mayor for, for previously for nine years? Nine years. And, uh, you know, you took a bit of a break, ten years off. City has changed yeah. quite a bit. Right. What makes you think that you can handle what the city has to offer right now? Thousands of new people moving into the city each month. Yeah. Uh, most of these individuals are employed in the trades. If that trade bubble was to burst, what would you do with this increased unemployed population? Well, I think a number of things, and, and it's my experience that um, I'm saying to the public um, will help um, move Surrey forward um, rather than staying with the status quo um, that's currently there. When I was mayor, I was the one that um, developed the city centre. I uh, was very tough on crime first to get rid of crime in the Wally area. And then I worked very, very hard to bring Simon Fraser University into Surrey, and they did. Um, and that was what we created as the start of the city center. And then I encouraged um, at least six or seven foreign investors to invest and build the high rises. The high rises that are currently there now 
are a result of uh, myself and council's um, work to get them there now. That type of experience, including in transportation, um, um, has allowed us to, in the public, to recognize that um, that my Thank experience you, will help. I've got to cut you off there. <laughs> there Thank you go. for your answer. answer there. A fresh perspective beyond the bridge. Fraser Focus.